Manisha. And in any event, I, I ceased to be a minister in 2000. Yes, but the, the bottom line, you know, Manisha Karayar, whether it's Congress or BJP, the Congress has, you know, the fear is the Congress wants to go slow on this trail because it may lead to the Beaufort scam. That's somewhere the undercurrent in the BJP's campaign. That, look, we need to find out, tracing back to Beaufort's, who got the money and where it went in Swiss bank accounts. That's why the Congress is on the defensive. That's why the Congress tends to get embarrassed. How do you see this? Congress is on the defensive, not because it will resuscitate Beaufort's, but because people who are in control of the Congress are the real culprits. You know, the, you know the, the, those are extremely defamatory charges you are making there, Jait Malani uh, ji. But yes, I, I, that is, I am making these defamatory charges so that somebody should sue me in libel and come and face my cross-examination. Uh, <laughs> Manisha, can I hear your response? <laughs> what response? If Mr. Jait Malani in his dotage insists on making irresponsible remarks, I'm not going to give him the pleasure of a second orgasm by being taken into the Supreme Court on defamation charges. My point is that this is not a problem yeah, of Indian law or the Indian courts. Right. The problem is one of an entire financial system built up in Switzerland and other tax havens where the law of that land, not the law of our land, the law of that land gives such guarantees to people who have illegally and immorally amassed huge sums of money. Look at the sums you were talking about. Yes. 470 billion, yes. 390 billion, 1,500 billion. Do you think all this money would have gone into Switzerland if they hadn't been absolutely sure that the Swiss are clever enough to pretend that they are a moral country, but ensure that immorality, which is the steel frame of their prosperity, will, will be adversely affected. Are you saying, if are, are you saying the government is allow, helpless? Are you saying the Indian government is helpless I'm as saying, a result? I, I'm not saying they're entirely helpless, but they're largely helpless because it is Swiss law, Swiss banking norms, mm -hmm. which are protecting this illegally mass money. And if Mr. Jait Malani is able to get over that, full power to his elbow. But I think the kind of romanticism being expressed by Kiran Bedi and the kind of legal leisure de main being expressed by Ram Jait Malani is not going to get us anywhere. No. Let us be realistic. A huge amount of illegally amassed money has gone abroad not because of political misbehavior, but largely because of the total lack of ethics in our corporate sector. Yeah. It is these businessmen who are responsible no, for probably 80 or 90 percent of the money over there. And as regards Bofors, I mean, you know, I'm sick of Jait Malani running after this holy grail for the last 20 years. I hope there will be full disclosure of anything connected with the payments made by the Nobel company right. to into Swiss bank accounts because I am absolutely sure, as sure as Jait Malani is, that Rajiv Gandhi's innocence will be finally proved it, when there it, is a full revelation from Switzerland which alas will never happen because that country's entire okay. prosperity is built upon this 